Breaking developing news tonight on a devastating fire in Providence. Providence police confirmed this afternoon that they've recovered a body from the rubble of a home that burned down on Bedoin Street Saturday, leaving one woman unaccounted for. And today we got our hands on an inspection report from just days before the fire that suggested the home should be condemned. Target 12 investigator Tim White is standing by with that side of the story. But first, let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado, who's live at the scene with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike and Shannon, you can barely tell there was even a house in between these two houses that were destroyed by fire. It was the one in the middle where this crane now sits that was burned all the way to the ground, and it was in the rubble of that house where today firefighters discovered a body. Two days after a destructive fire tore through this Olneyville neighborhood, firefighters pull someone from the rubble who did not survive. We know it's her because she was the only one missing. Officials have not identified the victim as they wait for test results from the medical examiner, but the family of 49-year-old Lucy Feliciano believes it's her. They tell us she was asleep on the second floor of 110 Bodoin Street at the time of the fire at 3 a.m. Saturday and has not been seen since. Her brother Luis Feliciano speaking Spanish, describing Lucy as very happy, a mother of nine. She was a happy person. She was always with a lot of friends going out. She never be at, like she never be at home. She so she was always like going out. Everybody love her. Yo, salí para afuera. Lucy's brother, Luis, lives two doors down. He says he ran out of his house when the fire broke out Saturday and saw Lucy's house was already completely engulfed in flames. It was fully engulfed. It was too dangerous to enter that, that home. And that's where we believe the origin of the fire began. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says investigators are looking into what caused the fire in a house that was in such bad shape it was slated to be condemned. There was no heat and there was no running water. He says investigators are looking into the electrical system which appeared to be powering several space heaters. So far, Perry says no evidence indicates the fire is suspicious. And again, officials have not identified the person who died, but they did tell us no one else is unaccounted for. Coming up new at 6, we'll have more on the two firefighters who were hurt in this fire, what they were trying to do when the roof of one of these homes collapsed. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim. And our team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado. She's been at the scene of the fire in Bedoin Street all day. She joins us now live from the mobile newsroom. Steph. Three homes were destroyed in this fire. The one in the middle where you see this crane burned all the way to the ground. Firefighters said it was too dangerous to go inside when it set fire on Saturday. Today they pulled a body from the rubble. Firefighters pulling a body from the debris at what's left of 110 Bodoin Street. They'd been searching for a woman since the house burned down Saturday. The family of 49-year-old Lucy Feliciano identified her as the woman who was missing. The medical examiner is still working to identify the body. Feliciano's family telling us she's a mother of nine. She was a happy person. She was always with a lot of friends going out. She never be at, like she never be at home. She so she was always like going out. Everybody loved her. It was fully engulfed. It was too dangerous to enter that that home. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says the fire spread from 110 Bedoin to the two homes on either side. The first firefighters on the scene tried to go inside the buildings to see if anyone was left. But the roof of this house collapsed on firefighter Dan Rinaldi. He had to call Mayday to be rescued. They had to use the jaws of life and cut him out of the heavy weight of the roof that pinned his leg. Perry says it's difficult to know they were not able to save everyone despite their best efforts. That's their goal and to save people and I know you know those companies that were first on the scene it's going to uh, impact them psychologically. And firefighter Rinaldi suffered burns to his leg. Firefighter LaSalle who was with him was treated for smoke inhalation. Both went to the hospital but were released and are expected to be okay. Now the investigation continues now into what caused this fire. Commissioner Perry said there's no evidence to suggest anything suspicious. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.